So we're doing preset knobs today, and what that is is it's a macro knob where you set up these discrete positions, and then the goal of each discrete position is to turn on a set of devices and turn off the other devices so that you've just got this set of devices, which would correspond to the preset. You can do this with anything. Um, this rack in particular is a MIDI processing rack designed to take my Octopad and shift what notes the rows are playing so that it's easier to play in different drum patterns without having to reprogram my Octopad on the hardware itself. You can see that this is on from 1 to 1.999, right? This is like 2 to 2.999. Uh, the point is I'm just turning on certain racks over you know certain numbers and the other racks are off. Uh, specifically, there's two rows on this octopad, right? And then on each row, you'll notice inside this rows chain, uh, there are pads, right? So we filtered out the rows here. And then once you get into the rows, we filter out into the individual pads. And these individual pads all have these MIDI pitch devices on them. You can see that as I crank this knob, right, that these MIDI pitch devices are changing. Right, and that, uh, you know, corresponds to these mappings again. So that's all this really is, right, is it's just turning on and off MIDI pitch devices, and that's going to shift what notes each of these pads play. And so whereas this might be kicks and snares and hats, Right, I can change these, and so you can see over on the info text, if you right click, you can edit info text. You, you know, I wrote down what these presets are, but say I wanted like a lighter type of kick and snare kind of stuff, and I want like ta like these guys instead, right? This is still going to be a similar beat, but it's different um, types of drums. Right, so it's just changing these sets and it's changing it for each pad and so the whole row gets swapped out. Very, very um, straightforward to program but very powerful. So I'm going to show you another thing that you can do with these preset knobs and that's going to be on this drum designer uh, rack I built called uh, the Sub Smasher. I'm going to go through these in another video but basically the way this knob works is this is how many 16th notes it would be from the time the pre-transient hits to the time the sub hits. So have a listen. Right now, I could make that happen after only two sixteenths. And, uh, you know, sub out the, or switch out these subs and stuff like that, right? But the thing I want to point out is that curled up on the very left on 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5, uh, which can be accessed by shift and hitting up to go up a point at a time, right? So unlike before where I was just the, you know, preset 1, preset 2, preset 3, these are all curled up into preset 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and that's just to get as much real estate on the rest of the knob as possible, because once you get past 0 0.5, then you get into a continuous knob and this could have been a dry wet it could have been like you know a reverb time whatever you want point is you could have a whole bunch of presets curled up on the left here right and you'll see these these are going from like you know 0.1 to like 0.1999 kind of thing and so uh, you can have all these presets curled up on the left and then use the rest of the knob for a continuous thing And so the idea of what this does is when it's all the way on the left the sub impact is going to hit when I let go of the note and the pre-transient hits when I press it on and so I can do it however long I want, like however long of a pre-transient I want. So if I want it fast, or I could make it take a lot longer, and that's the behavior of this very left one. And then you'll notice, like see this guy, this is going to change on and off as I hit shift up and down. That's going to change the behavior. I'm not going to go through what all that is. I just wanted to show you that you can curl up presets on the left side of a continuous knob as well. So yeah, hopefully this was useful to you. Um, there's a million reasons to build preset knobs. Uh, you know, you can do it with effects, you can do it with MIDI routing, you can do it with you know, you name it, you can build it basically. But the idea is you have discrete positions that correspond to certain devices being on and certain devices being off. And those collection of on devices are the preset, right? And so you just map the on off buttons to be on for whatever discrete position on the knob you want as that preset. So number one, number two, etc. All right, guys, I hope this was useful. Take care. Um, let me know what you do with this if you come up with anything cool. All right, peace.